Everything's in matte painting, everything's an illusion, and it's constantly yeah. changing. We're putting Gumdrop in some old footage from a Fred Astaire movie, Royal Wedding. So if you look, we're, 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 we're mimicking her movements, the lead actress's movements, and um, we're making Gumdrop instead be dancing with Fred Astaire. And the biggest challenge for, for some, some of these shots is actually removing the, the, the actress. We pretty much made a blank plate with none of the characters in it, just of the background, and we tracked that into the shot, and so then we could cut out her from the shot and have the, have the background behind her. We're using Cinema 4D, and we're using the actual footage as reference footage. And on top of it, we're then animating Gumdrop and trying to mimic as, as close as possible, because she's a little different. She doesn't move the same as a, as a human does. She doesn't have legs, for instance. Right now, I am working on syncing up the lips and making sure that uh, they are frame by frame accurate with, with uh, the clip that I'm listening to at the same time. Um, so it's a lot of kind of playing back through and, and listening very carefully for to get the exact uh, consonants and vowels just right. And after that, when I was 12, we actually have it set up with the model um, with a series of sliders which we can use to control different different lip uh, different lip sounds. We basically keyframe these and we tell it to uh, be at a certain position at a certain time, and then we'll go on to the next one and we slowly. Do each each one bit by bit. Wait, was that that, that didn't answer your question at no, all? That was did perfect. It? That was perfect. This started back um, just before the summer, actually. It was kind of a, a very organic process. You know, we started talking about it and figuring out how we were going to do it and what the story was and how we were going to achieve it. And and well, just just to intercede for a second, he might not give himself credit, but he <laughs> came up with the whole look of Gumdrop and the whole rendering pipeline. So he's really responsible for how it looks. <laughs> we had a bunch of time this summer that we're able to, you know, spend time either testing shots here in the library or we actually ended up shooting the audition. We brought in props we have around the office, so it was just kind of more of an exploratory process. Could you read this uh, scene for us? Just probably just the last two lines is fine. I think my role was primarily to actually set up Gumdrop's um, animation. <laughs> what we found was that we're four animators essentially. Me, Steve, and then Matt and Aaron, and everybody has their own uh, body language that they use. And I had to kind of steer everyone into the fact that this is a girl, this is not a guy. I kind of went through and, and posed oh. them out and made sure that everyone was doing gentle movements versus, you know, pensive thought of a man <laughs> versus hand gestures of a woman. The thing that makes me laugh the most is when someone has the balls to make fun of me. <laughs> I think the most challenging aspect is definitely um, really bringing an animated character to life and making them believable and making the audience care about them. As a robot, she, she naturally wouldn't have the full range of emotion that a human does, but we've taken liberties with her mouth movements. It's gorgeous. As well as her eyes, she can frown just a little bit and blink just the movements of her hands and arms and things like that can really can really bring her to life. LA is a, it's a whole different animal. A lot of these are different controllers, which give us the ability to control different parts of her, um, such as her head, for instance, with this one. Um, some of these other ones control uh, her neck or her upper body, um, as well as all of these over here are used to control various parts of her, such as her finger curling. Um, her blinks are controlled in, in these sliders here, and, and each one of these is, is frame by frame animated. Um, to really bring her to life. <sighs> this is why I don't do shrooms or any kind of hallucinogenics. I'm really scared of what could possibly come out. What was it like working with Carrie as, you know, co-director? Co I've known Carrie Conran since um, Sky Captive. We worked together on that project. That was an immensely rewarding experience. The lovely thing about working with Carrie, I think, is that he gives you a lot of space to develop material. I carry school, he's one of a kind, I would say. He's really considerate for a director, I would say. Really is open to people's ideas, but he has a really unique vision that's that's fun and I think it's rewarding to work with him because he makes it an enjoyable process. 
He is super fun and he cares so much and that's something that you can feel it and then you want to do a really good job because you know that he's someone that cares that much about the product and um, he really does let you have a vision and let you have input which is spectacular. Um, he's a really funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just a pleasure to be around him. Is that alright? That was awesome. Are you serious? Well, I, th I think for all of us, we know that Gumdrop is a piece of material that's kind of unique and not your average short film, but we really hope that people enjoy it. Yeah. Honestly, we hope that they get a lot of love out of it. So. As much as we did yeah. making it. Yeah. Because we had a lot of fun. Perfect. That, that was is. exhausting. <laughs> <laughs>